That's what I'm saying. I thought the other game he was a little fast. Oh, Ron Holland, give me those cookies. Got a two-on-one break. Holland by himself. Missing the lay-in, batted around, and hit pretty much like the Los Angeles Lakers. That's what I would equate them to. Ron Holland with the kick out. He's got Johnson for three, and he knocks it down. The opening game on Wednesday, 4-15 from the floor, but you can tell he's settled in. Ron Holland, he led all scores. On Ignite, trying to extend them. Ron Holland, a full head of steam, and he'll be fouled by Saar. We get Holland driving to the basket. So Ron Holland misses the first from the free throw line. He decommit from the verbal commitment after he said the roster was in flux. In this first game, the first quarter on Wednesday, he admitted he was nervous, just like the other young guys cutting it off. Holland trying to break down his man, and Saar swats that into the seats. And read about all the hype for Alex Saar as he comes here and just swats this thing like he's playing volleyball. He is better than advertised. Alex Saar is a super prospect. Holland lost it going up. Now Argo spins away from his man, kicks it out to Holland. Working against Henschel, crosses him over, loses his man. Holland couldn't get the roll. Perth misses everything. Outlet is Holland, spins away and lays it in off the glass. Found him. That was affected by Saar. Almanza gets it back out to Holland. Step back three, Holland off the mark. Wagstaff, the veteran in his 16th professional season, keeps the possession alive. But Holland, all alone, it's showtime! He is a highlight bill waiting to happen. That this first Wildcat team. There's Holland again, leading the break. It's a four on two. Holland keeps it himself. Tell me you don't remind you of Russell Westbrook, a poor man Russell Westbrook. After the early run by the Wildcats, Ignite, they have adjusted here in the second quarter. <laughs> and too much contact. Three seconds. If Ignite can get this lead down, it'll give him a lot of momentum going into the half. There's Mika bumping with Usher, forces him to fade away, and Ignite get the stop. Let's remember for so many of these guys on the floor, this is just their second professional game without Ignite. Play. Yes. They go from high school to the pros. A guy like Ron Holland, he just played in high school. Over to Buzelis, who also just played in high school, knocking down the three ball. Well, John, they can play. I mean, they, they don't have fear in their game. And that young man really from Ron Holland. Holland gave them an opportunity. And so those players are now going to be playing on G League rosters, G League teams from their NBA affiliates. And those guys. I think we 10 or 12 or so spread out on different G League teams. Um, and they'll have the opportunity. And, and we've had. And we, we're trying out again. How about this Ignite team? Also the Portland Trailblazers, and we're going to soon have potentially teams and affiliates from every NBA team in the G League. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, this year, obviously, we'll have the, the Rip City remix, which is uh, see where, where things go from there. Any other potential rules you guys are tweaking? We win a showcase, I'll win a showcase. We'll reset our records and, you know. G League president Sharif Abdul-Rahim. Any of the young Ignite players, have they, anybody caught your eye early on? They have eight prospects on this roster. Really talented players. Obviously, Bobakar and, and London, who were with us at the NBA and, and NBA teams have shown. I, the Memphis Grizzlies, I, and, and that's a nice that's a nice deal that they do, kind of honoring Vancouver. Com for a full roster of Ignite player jerseys. It's different ones. You got to head on over to Ignite TeamIgniteShop.com to check. That's great. He was talking about all the programs they do off the court. And here's Rollin, Ron Holland, get the steal. Couldn't finish the jam. And we start this fourth quarter. No word. I believe there was a technical foul call. Saar, that is his third block of the night to go along with 20 points and eight rebounds. Holland. And Sears, he's got 10. With the blow by, and he forces the refs to call the foul. He's getting one points to lead the way for Ignite. Make that 22. Enjoy scoring the basketball. <laughs> well, when I say he enjoys it, I mean. 
Holland. You can see he wants it with two guys on him. 23 in your first game as professional. But to now back it up with another two guard and scoring the point. So it shows his versatility. And that was a great defensive stand right there by Perk. And they call an offensive foul against Holland. Pick and roll. Saar finds himself alone for three. Missed it. Rebound is to ignite. Holland, he's not waiting for anyone. Blocked. Extra passes to Usher. Three ball from the wing, missing everything. And the putback no good there by Cotton. This is a teaching moment right now. This is where you give him a chance to kind of grow up. Holland with the shot clock winding down. His three off the mark. Holland rising up for three, knocks it down. Holland, he goes right at Saar, and Saar wins that battle. 6-10 is now on him. Cotton rises over the big man, missed it. Wagstaff gets the and one. Up 125 points tonight. Holland knocks down the three ball. He continues his hot night. breakout tries to get it back to Smith tipped away stolen by Perth shot clock turned off and ignite one last run at it Tyler Smith throws it in Zunick at the horn had it blocked and that'll do it the Perth Wildcats have won the second game of the exhibition in this NBA G League Fall Invitational